Would you have Kanye dropped a verse on you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, might, it might wake me up. Oh, he scared the fuck out of me. What's up, guys? We Jungle Beats, Australia's plug to the worst L sweatshirt reviews in the country. Correct. If you watched our Mint review, you would have realized that we didn't fuck with it that much. And I'm glad that you yeah, left your hateful comments. Actually, shout out to the odd few people that left respectful, informative comments. I went back to the track, went to it lyrically. It's really fucking dope. Okay. Lyrically, it's, it's so I think they're like going to this album. I'm going to make sure we go into this lyrically because L definitely is on his shit. But yeah, fuck y'all that haters. <laughs> or don't. We're here today for some rap songs. L Switch's brand new album. Big ass fan. Short tracks. We fuck with it. It's actually dope because we actually have limited time. So if it was any longer than what it was, we probably wouldn't be able to do it today. Absolutely. Uh, my name is Alexander Sandalis, a.k.a. Poncho the Prophet. Yo. And I'm Big Clit. Indeed. <laughs> my, my clit is enormous. Uh, look. Just to put it out there, I know a lot of you are real big fans of El Sweatshirt. Particularly, I'm not. I just haven't dived into his music like that. But I'm open and I'm ready to, to get whatever. Hold on, you got a straight hair. On the other hand... Yeah, just chilling like that, bro. It's nice. You know, you're really confirming all the interracial gay couple <laughs> fucking... Uh, bro, I'm just hoping you keep your look right and now. your style, bro. I appreciate that. Bro, if that straight hair was out or clip, your motherfucking comments would be like, that motherfucking straight hair, you fucking whack. What are you saying, bro? On the other hand, you are quite well versed in Earl's music. Yeah, I grew up with his shit from his from his first mixtape to his old future tapes, all the way up to his last shit. Like, uh, I fuck with his music, his style, everything. Track one. Yeah, let's just get into it. I'm, I'm excited. Shattered dreams. You got the lyrics ready to go? I'm ready. I reckon we get this a lot, a lot of this album, a lot of, a lot of this like repetitive production. Very hypnotic, monotone, mm. hazy. If this is the style we're gonna get for the whole album, we'll see how we go. <laughs> I mean, I, I fuck with all these things, but it's definitely one of those ones where you really just have to pay the fuck attention. Like, because I think there's definitely gonna be him talking about a lot of shit, so it'd be well, good to get the lyrics to these tracks. We hear the chorus, why ain't nobody tell them that I'm bleeding? Please, nobody pinch me out this dream. So, Bleeding, referencing pain and suffering, most likely. But then nobody pinched me out this dream. Maybe he's on drugs. Or maybe he's enjoying the pain. Because people have been known... Right. Very good point. Like a masochist. Yeah. Like I, I'm someone who, when I get into my low downs in my life, mm. I may get like super down myself and feel fucking shitty. But for s somehow, I kind of enjoy it because it's an experience. It's living. Like, I enjoy every aspect of life, including the most, the lowest of lows. As much as I'm feeling shit at those times, I still enjoy the fuck out of it, as weird as that is. So I can understand I that I think shit. that's echoed in the verse as well. I said, peace to my dirty water drinkers. Psh, mm. Nobody trying to get it clean. Why ain't nobody tell me that I was sinking? Ain't nobody tell me I could leave. Mm. I, I really fuck with that sample on that first track. Mm. This is dope. Let's keep it rolling. Yeah, I dig that, man. It's like picking up those odd, odd few lines. It keeps it quick, but we still get into it. Okay. I like it. You just pick it. You pick out. You pick it out. I know I'm king. Stop on my shoulder. I'm the same. 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 I'm the yeah, look, he's repeating the same verse over and over again. Mm. Obviously, it means a bit to him. 
What but you saying? I don't really know what he's referencing, okay? I ain't know that I could leave. Papa called me chief. Gotta keep a brief. Locked and load. I can see you lying through your teeth. Fingers in my soul. This is 23. Blood in the water. I was walking in my sleep. I'm not going to pretend to try and unpack that because there's a million different things that could mean. Yeah. I think this is for the stands. This is for, like, the stands, sorry, not for the stands. The stands will really appreciate this. I don't maybe. necessarily think so because L hasn't really gone this direction Oh, before. he hasn't? No, this oh, is okay. all new for L, man. Like, we all know he's dabbled. Like, he's very inspired by the Mad Lids, by the, like, uh, MF Doom, mm. all that sort of ish. Like, he's heavily inspired by that. We, we, we've only ever heard snippets of that through his music, especially through his last album. But right here, what we're hearing right now, you're hearing exactly those inspirations, 100% taking the lead role here. So I think he's, this is, I think this is like what L's always wanted to do. But like, he's finally got the creative freedom. I guess he surrounds himself around people to do this. Um, do you know who produced, produced all this? Because I don't know if he's gotten more oh. producing. So this is all him? Yeah. Writers, artists, producers. I think this is why it's taken him so, like, a long time to get to us because he's probably always wanted to produce his stuff. Because I know that obviously, when you, with a producer, like, it's always not hard, but a lot harder to get off the sound you exactly want. Like, sometimes you compensate, you're like, this is the best I'm going to get. But when you're doing your own shit, you know exactly what the fuck you want and you'll put in the time to get that sound. So, I think this is L just evolving before us. <laughs> The wrong tundra. The boy been gone a few summers too long for road running truck full of whole hunters. Of course, my own lover was scorn. We grow from it. Don't tell me that all hunters are sport. I chose sets up on the floor. We press up on the boy. No more bluffing. Cold summers don't tussle with strangers. Some of those keep one in the chamber. Three splits had my wingtips clipped. I was stuck in the hangar. Nigga, muffled. Kept the truth in my palm and my chest. See it through. Keep a noose hanging off of my my neck, we got the juice, niggas corny as shit, we on the loose, niggas know what it is, my pain and muzzle my brain up, really I'm just making sure my promises kept, chunk a deuce if you know it's the end, you make me moves, niggas corny as shit, we got the juice, niggas know what it is, yeah. Short and sweet. It's a very consistent with the production of vocal um, uh, levels, mm. like it's obviously very hazy kind of vocals it's hard to distinguish what he's saying at times mm. but it's consistent so far yeah the same style the production's a lot louder than what he is and i honestly think that like if we weren't talking track by track it's just what we do that it would be quite fluent in the yeah. switchings between things i feel like one massive long 20 minute track kind that of similar to solace which is a 10 minute track he did trunk full of old hundreds of course my lover was scorned we groaned from it don't tell me they don't hunt us for sport i choose substances no mm. cuddles, the bases is all covered. Niggas come in the door and smoke something. Mm. Real dope wordplay there. Is it? I really fuck with that. I don't really know what it means or like what it's supposed to mean. Isn't there a beauty in that though? Yeah, the unknown, right? Absolutely. We gonna wait till we get the Wi-Fi back. <laughs> so far about this it's weird man it's just like i'm listening to noise like i don't like mean to death grips for the first time mm. hmm interesting uh not to that level because <laughs> that was just mind bending <laughs> this it just feels like i'm i'm hearing noise and like i'm thinking like where's the structure but like oh and i'm thinking no there, there's, there's a production structure there it's just like obviously pushing me outside my musical comfort zone which mm. is a good thing but i'm just like blank and neutral 
It's very easy to zone the fuck out to this. I really fucked with the production on that one. The fucking, the sample mixing in there was real fucking, real fucking dude. I keep it quiet as kept. Yeah, I think I spent most of my life depressed. Only thing on my mind was death. Didn't know if it was my time was next. Trying to refine this shit. I redefined myself. First I had to find it. Hmm. Couldn't find a friend. Had to rely on my wits. Damn. So th that's obviously like powerful like transformation he's making in front of us especially because he said he's been like struggling with that for like he said his whole life which is if you watch his shit with odd future lloyd has gone that he's always shown to like always been smiling having fun with it and just like it just goes to show like you know despite all that, that he puts on the front mm. his whole life he's still been struggling with shit people wear masks yeah man <laughs> Would you have Kanye drop the verse on you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, might, it might wake me up. Alan with the pig fro. Answering out loud. Alan, you've been on this shit hard. Powered up. Out for the assist, dog. Don't panic when it get cold. We go out. Don't think it's a bit problem, louder here. But it's going to be your problem if you did. Definitely. Though. I lived out the way. Hey. The point. Palace where the crib stays. Could have filled a fish tank. My dog, you hear my cell say. You got me off the strand. That's the natural side is. Say. You die and then you live, huh? Right. I told these niggas passing like the sick go be passing niggas know we keep the gas inside show you right it took some passages to get grown they been calling me savage from the get go uh, uh. Mm. i heard him mention one point there right right there bad acid did damage to my mental mm. it's very common for people would have either bad experiences and what those bad experiences do is they change you they change you for good i've, I've seen it happen to friends of mine and some of it is short term, some of it can last for months, but some is long term, where what you experience on your trip is just so, be it like vivid or just so realistic or whatever it is that you figure out in your mind. Like That's why a lot of people go on out of body experiences because they, they, they just seek some form of change, but sometimes it's not the change they want. That's a great point. But let's just talk about the vocals pitched high. It almost seems yeah. like a more positive, uplifting like oh we're coming out of that dark tunnel a little bit it's the first time the album you're right where the, where the vocals are pitched about the same amount as the production where the production has really been the the strong point in terms of sound for this album so far i think i'm gonna keep it there all right let's hit it Mm. That was dope. I zoned the fuck out though. Mama say, don't play with them scabs. It's safe to say, I see the reason I'm bleeding out. So he's kind of picked at his own mental, emotional wounds. And that's caused him to suffer. I like the way he's worded though. Like the mama said, don't play with no scabs. Like he could obviously mean mom's poking at wounds that don't aren't necessarily, you can see them. Yeah. But it's a term because I remember when I was younger and I was trying to skateboard, I'd have scabs on my body. And when you're a kid, you just love picking that shit. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> just your face. So it's kind of like, a good way of wording that it is it's a very vivid description mm. yeah that's one of my highlights so far i really i really fucked with that track and one of our favorite tracks is right now the mint featuring navy blue yeah it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna fit the fuck right in absolutely yep yep that's right i'm running things i'm running things hey man this, oh, this is our shit bro oh, I said in our single review, 
that this would make a lot more sense if it fit in with an album where it was and it does part of it fits in perfectly i think the production i like the production probably the most out of all the tracks i don't know it's most i like the east coast kind of vibe to it but lyrically it's just so hazy and droned out i um i'm bored tiptoeing over mortar and the brick bumping shoulders with the devil in disguise yeah that did stay to stay, stay out stood out the most mm. but um i don't know i just feel disconnected from this artist and his music that's fair enough man you gotta keep it real right at the moment i'm i don't know if i'm necessarily i am enjoying it. i don't know if i'm necessarily loving it but i'm enjoying seeing Old progression and growth right so you have the context and reference exactly points. like i know who he, who he's inspired by and hearing all this come together and this is actually i think really this is pleasing. really beneficial you have an experienced old listener and an inexperienced old listener yeah. and you can see two dual polarities i think that's interesting mm. Then we don't break, we not the bank. We all we got. Switch whistle, we slow chain, way out of state. By the pump, we see in his hands some real Mike Willie shit. We bring gorilla that really gave up the ransom. You silly, we tax them bad blood. Doing it once before John, yeah. God get the cash for our hard hug heads. Might starve in the air, yeah. God get the cash for it. John, bank switch whips. Relocate all the way out of state to my queen's keep. Keep fake brother, man. man, one thing I'm getting from this production is that I reckon I'd love to see El Sweatshirt work with Rock Marciano. We've heard Rock Marciano, the production he goes on is a bit similar to the stuff El's being on. Heard his album a couple of times, yeah. Was it Rosebuds you listened to? Yeah. The no, second one was pretty dope too. One of them, Rosebuds Revenge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because the production there is quite similar. And this is probably my most most enjoyable track for me the sample that high pitch no it was more like hey. was it more like that it was like I don't fucking <laughs> what is that uh, Smeagol oh precious don't take it from me uh, I fuck with that yo he's talking about you here peace to my man's gotta be with your fam Found a reason to live, doubt could be in a fist. Keep fallacies off your lips, see kinds of seeds in the wind. Uh, we next, we stress, hard sleep. I see y'all, we stress, hard sleep. Oh. We hard, hard. Uh, uh, mm. I think I caught a single line. I need to hit these lyrics up. <laughs> It's, it's extremely cohesive. The, 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 this, this Sonic, the Sonics, it's yeah. continued like one track, just like you said. I'm actually so excited to, after this review, to go back to this as a one whole single listen and just completely zone out. I, I think probably the first few listens, I'm just going to let it sit before I look into this lyrically because it's just such a, you just zone the fuck out to this. Underneath the skin of grapevine, save time, serpent, no need to hiss. Is that a mm. reference to the Bible? And Garden of Eden. The, yeah, is it, yeah, could be. Mm -hmm. Found a reason to live. Doubt can be an abyss. Mm. That's a, a lot of this he's talking about. His suffering and the pain. And, and how, it seems like how he's maneuvering through that. And, um, I like how he writes it in a way that's very otherworldly though. Yeah, he's, he's descript, descriptions and lyrical wordplay is unique. Mm. I wonder if he's under the influence very not that like that's a big factor, but I know that I know I know that L's being dark shit, so I wonder I wonder how what he does to go about his lyricism and his music right now. Hopefully it's the same he's been doing, but I don't know. I think it does benefactor. Pedal to the metal, lost foot, and it was sugar in my gas tank. My cushion was a bosom on my bad days. It's not a black woman. I can't tell you these are last days. It's all mine. But I'll wait to this block last the whole way. What? Apologize. I only get better with time. That's what my mama said. And God said, you say to kill him this time. When I go put on the line. What good is it if we said I was not offended? Press King Navy man, like on the bench, living life like a nigga put a price on my head. Fuck, don't need any luck. See the ghost of where I was, lonesome as I was. And straight to the next one. Mm. God damn, that's gonna be smooth. 
Well, so you know, t totally off topic, but do you realize only one person in the last few reviews about has mentioned your poncho? Only one person. Yeah, I didn't really see any comments. I mean, I mean, if I saw you some, expected more. I know I expected that. Expected heaps. Yeah, like it's, you're it's wearing just, a motherfucking poncho. It's just a poncho, man. Pedal to the metal, lost foot, and it was sugar in my gas tank. Lost foot, and it was sugar in my gas tank. Sugar. So it's short lasting. It gives you a quick burst. And then a big crash is the stereotype of, of what sugar does to the body. Yeah, and also too much of it can have chronic effects with disease. Mm -hmm. Yeah, diabetes. Last foot and it was sugar. My, so that that's really clever. I like that. Mm. It's like you lose your footing and now you're intaking like a whole different type of maybe not a substance but something into your life that is not doing you good in the long run. I think that's that's definitely what I'm impressed about with Earl, and I want to mention that is that he has a he v he can vividly paint pictures very well and uniquely. Mm. That is exactly what draws a lot of people in the way that he paints shit. It can be very in your face. <laughs> What did he say at the end? Oh, this is all lyrics for me. This is the production is just fucking. I hurt my zany. brain. Why did it hurt your brain? Because the production, the beat was not really on beat. Like he was rapping off beat the whole track. Yeah. You feel like that's happened a couple of times this album? No. Most of the time the album I'd be able to feel him on beat. But here it was just like the beat was so different and that he was off beat the whole time. I actually have a headache right now for Damn. trying to pay attention and get my fucking, my head on beat to that track. Damn. Hell that man. fucked with me, man. That really fucked with me. Take no prisoners. Let's make more chips and whip the brakes. Say goodbye to my openness, total eclipse and my shine that I'm going to miss. Open my lens, my eyes shut, my soul is a missile. The signs send me closer to ends. I just feel like that's a... Uh... It's dark. Yeah, it has this like dark undertone and this like very vulnerable, dark, but uh, cryptic mm. undertone. There's a lot, a lot of cryptic lines here. My nigga, peace to every crease on your brain. Peace to who came before me in the game. We dancing, birth mama raised and birth me. I ain't changed, I'm a man. I'm just saying that I stay in person. Earl is not my name, the world is my domain, kid. Air Max 97, stuck in Trump land, watching summer to the K. I ain't touching Zan when, it, when it's time to put my burnt body in a case. Tell my mama, I said thank you. Trying to stay fast and trying to get through the day. I can't call the dogs. Sometimes I feel like I want to call it all. I can't call it dog. Big dog, finna rip the collar off the dogs. Hey, yeah. keep pace, my nigga. Keep pace, my nigga. Be safe, keep safe, my nigga. Keep safe, my nigga. Yeah, ah. Be safe, keep safe, keep pace. Oh, my heart. Peace to every crease on your brain. Peace to came before me in your game. Earl is not my name, the world is my domain. Whew. I've been eating good, you can see it in my tummy, but I'm bugging. I've been spending more money than I'm making. Tell my mama I said thank you, trying to stay factual, trying to get through the day. I'm a pay her back, I ain't showing face, kid. He seems like he's really connected to his family. Or that, like, even if he's disconnected, he still has a huge love and appreciation for them. Yeah, he's mentioned to his mom a couple of times. Exactly, like, super close by the feel. Because, um, there was a time with our Odd Future when they were blowing the fuck up, where yeah. I think Earl got in some trouble in school or something. This one, he was, like, 15. And his mom actually um, sent him to, I think, Sudan, some in, in Africa, for, like, a year or two. 
and everyone had like the free L things. Like it was a big Odd Future thing because this is when they were at the pinnacle of height and they were like, they were like fucking huge. And then L came back. I don't know this is an example maybe like what is what his mum sort of maybe done for him in a way. It shows how much she cares. Sort of. I mean, yeah, it was a, it was a weird time. The first feature, no, navy blue. The second feature, Cheryl Harris and Keo Pritzis Kudzitsilis. Oh shit, really? I'm enjoying your reaction. It was like. That's the most famous one. That's the thumbnail right there. I'm like this, and you're like that. Yeah! Oh, you scared the fuck out of me. Yeah! Fuck out of here, you feet, you smelly flopper. Bro, I think I might fucking retire after this one. <laughs> you might need to find a new co host. <laughs> what? Huh? What'd you say? Oh uh, man, I saw my own channel called Jarlil Beats. <laughs> we nearly surpassed them in subscribers. But I don't know if we're gonna overtake that cartoon one. Bro, what about that fake channel though? Oh fuck, I still need to flag it. I, fl I flagged it. You did? Alright. Uh, bro, bro, like, he's already got like over a thousand views for- Anyway, that track was called Playing Possum. I'm enjoying you so It was much. a bad up. Possum! <laughs> was it though? Yes. No, it wasn't. We paying attention, bro. The addition both of his samples to the album was intended to be a surprise that he planned. Playing Possum features anguish longer than sorrow. Playing Possum features a sample recording of his mother speaking about him and audio of his father reading his poem Anguish Longer Than Sorrow. The addition of both his parents to the album was intended mm. to be a surprise that he planned as a conciliatory gesture, but tragedy struck again when Feature passed away. Oh, fuck, I'm sorry. I'm not saying you're wrong. His dad. His dad passed away. Oh, that's it's a the, feature. Isn't, that's what it said. The feature's his mum and his dad. Dude, that, that, didn't you read the first paragraph? The paragraph said that the track features things from his mum and a poem from his dad. That's who the features are. They're his parents. Really? I just didn't expect yeah. that his name to be that. Bray Willy. I'm going to say Bray Willy. It's yeah. much easier to say Bray Willy. Yeah, so the intro's his mum and the outro's oh. his dad saying the poem. Because he, his dad was a poet. That's what his dad was. Oh, that's amazing. That's cool. See, without genius, man, we'd be messed up. Hey, bro, sometimes it's nice to make yourself look human. You know, because otherwise we just look like fuck from robots. And we ain't robots because our cocks are not robotic. <laughs> you fucking peanut. It's called peanut. Sorry, sir. Fucking sock juice. It was like, I'm dying. Oh, no. I don't know what that was. Um, let me have a look. It was a more darker track. Very drowned out. I mean, Even like took you lower into the cave. I mean, this album definitely has that dark element to it, but this one, like you said, took you deeper than we've probably been so far on this oh, album. I'm deep right now. I'm fucking how deep, deep are you? Bruh. Let me know how deep you are. I'm all bro. fucking one inch deep. Oh, bro, I've seen it. It's at least three. <laughs> Lick the nutsack. Zoo the <laughs> bro, I'm reading lyrics. Bro. It's just funny that you just like, after saying that, you just like, Lick the nutsack. <laughs> Lick the nutsack, zooted in some tearaways, flashing through the pain, depression. This is not a phase. Yeah, interesting. This does feel like a depressive state. Mm, this is mm. not a phase. I hope. Interesting. What, really? Is it? That's not good. Or is it? Because it's creating this music. It's double edged sword. Man, I'm always about as much as drugs help artists create some of their best work, at the same time, they're human. And I'd rather them make terrible music and have healthier lives than make amazing music and be on drugs. Absolutely. 100%, man. You well said. Still in shock and now my heart out somewhere on the range. Out of range, pick the lock and now we elevate. I don't, I'd have to really unpack that and think about that. These are some deep cryptic lines. 
mm. that are flying over me. Hey. Last track. Hey. Riot. Howdy, how you doing? My name is Judy Sapadik. Oh. oh. Honestly, probably my favorite production on the album was on that last track. Yeah, it, it was. Oh. That was really beautiful. Those strings with those, those, tr those trumpets, but at the same time, it had that background effect of it feeling like it was from the fifties, bro. It had that static effect. Well, to that's it. probably because that was Earl's uncle Hugh um, sampling. They like, sampled his uncle. And this track serves as a tribute to him as he died two weeks after Earl's father. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. That's why he's got his track called Huey. Really? Which is the, if you watched out my Mint review, it's the track that I had in the intro. Oh, man. Look, I need to put a disclaimer out there. I don't know Earl's, I don't have context on Earl, and I did not understand the, the severity and brevity of a lot of the, signif and how significant a lot of these tracks were, and the lyrical content. So I just want to say... That there is no malice in t or intent to disrespect. Don't let my unenjoyability of this album detract from the quality of Earl's work. Because I do understand that there is, there is quality here. This is just one of the most unenjoyable pieces of art that I've listened to this year. For me personally. However, let's get the other perspective. Uh, first off, I think it was... This is probably the most else led us into his mind mm. in terms of music. He's always hinted and gave us glimpses of his struggles and of what he's been going through. But here he's really laying it out in a really in a real poetic way. Obviously, I haven't delved into the lyrics completely. But from what I'm hearing, he even he got his mother and father on his track. He had his uncle in the outro. He's really giving you the reasons as to why he's in the state of mind that he's in. And he's showing like, just showing that love that he had on these tracks through here. It's just- And vulnerability and courage. Like it's a really dark album. Like it seems like it was still like, he's just, he's been working on his own production. He's trying to craft the sound and it feels like that what he's crafting here really suits exactly how he's feeling. So it's like personally, in terms of an album, I much prefer I don't like shit I don't go outside from a from a creative standpoint. I kind of like more that direction. But here, I like it's I still enjoy it, but I'm not like it's you know it's going to be different. I'm, I'm definitely going to give this some more listens for sure. I think we're getting a window into Earl's soul. For sure, man. This that's, is that's a powerful thing. This is a very vulnerable album. Uh. I think you talk about that. Yeah, really cohesive. Absolutely. Sonically, very strong. This is one full track. Play it through, put it in the background. Yeah. Exactly. It's one really just long 20, 23 minute track. A lot of people are going to resonate with this because a lot of people experience these, these dark mm. thoughts and these the, the pain and suffering that Earl is painting here. Mm. Uh, it paints a very vivid picture of pain and suffering. But at the same time, it's very unknown and mysterious and cryptic. It's weird because some people paint depression in a way that like it can be like uh, you can still enjoy it in a way. Here it's just like... Like Mac Miller? Yeah. Later, later Mac Miller for sure. His last album. But here like we only get like elements of that. There's certainly moments in this album where it feels like Earl's doing okay and he's all right with things. But the majority of this album just really seems like he's in this dark place and he doesn't want to get out of it yet he's not like like he's not enjoying it, but he doesn't know how to get out of it. But he's like, it's, but it's, it's like he's a mental. He's thing. not looking. It's almost like he's not looking to get out of yeah. it. Yeah, because when, like, when you're in those states, you don't. That's just how you feel. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a fucking. It's like he's come. He's accepting the darkness inside of him. Like that line but, I said, "This isn't a phase." Right. Mm. So I was like, "Oh, okay. Wait, this is a part of you, and you're coming to peace with it and using it as best you can." Mm. I remember what I was gonna say. Uh, but yeah, I think in terms of production-wise, quality, what Earl's doing, I, I believe that this is probably 
one of the albums that he'll be one of the most impressed with because it's what he, I believe it's what he wants to do. Like I said, he's got roots of <coughs> artists along with MF Doom and Mad Libs, and so that sort of sound he's always been a fan of. So to hear him make this album with the way that's sounding, I think that uh, a lot of production heads, a lot of underground heads, and people that want to find this more obscure stuff are going to be very, very fucking pleased with this. And people that have been going through shit similar to this, you're going to really find some uh, some some joy, some, some rela- sadness and joy some in this Some relation. So, to relate to. Exactly. So to wrap it up, all in all, uh, I'm not in love with this album, but I really appreciate artistically for what it is lyrically and uh, what it is production-wise. But I still... I'm, I probably haven't enjoyed as much as previous work, but more listens, more time. You'll hear my thoughts, but for now, it's all right. The Jungle Beats. The Jungle Beats. Thanks, let, y'all. Let us know how you feel about this. Shit on us below like you did in the Mint review. Was, no, shit on me. That's really what's going to happen. Let's, shit on us. Let's be real. I eat shit. I'm, I'm, like that, I'm like that Rick from that other dimension that eats shit. Woo!